never underestimate the power of indoctrination. All of us are indoctrinated to some extent, all of us. The human ability to generate and then propagate false narratives is incredible. It is incredible. You can look at human history and you will see that this can be taken as far as people claiming to be God and more incredibly others believing them. Like for example, the examples of the Pharaoh or the Japanese emperor who claimed to be God. Even more incredible is that at times people generated art. They created statues with their own hands and said, hey guys, this is now God, everybody bowed to him. I don't know how first generation who witnessed that accepted that, but I know that subsequent generations, people who were raised in that milieu, they truly believed that because they were indoctrinated. So indoctrination is all powerful. And this is why God warns us in the Quran not to follow our ancestors blindly. You cannot love a book that you have never read, nor can you hate a book, nor should you hate a book that you've never read. If you do that, then you're simply follow some, following somebody else's mind. You are indoctrinated. So we have to hear God when he revealed, read. Read in the name of your Lord who created, who created man from a clot. Read and your Lord is most bountiful, who teaches by the pen, who teaches man what he did not know. All of us have a duty to take control, to control over our own lives and recognize the power of indoctrination. If you look through writings even of ancient philosophers, like for example, uh, Plato's allegory of the cave, that is what he tried to teach people, indoctrination. So recognize that some of the thoughts and firm beliefs that you may have are not your own. And then research them. See if you're right. Nothing wrong with following the things that you yourself have come to a conclusion are the truth. But try to consider them outside of your indoctrination framework. And then see what you come up with. Peace be with you.